you guys. This is the weekend. This is the weekend that I've just had it with this room. There is stuff everywhere and I'm just done with it. I am so sick, like I said, of that background for my videos. So I'm gonna switch things up. We're gonna do a little painting. We're going to do a little repurposing. We're gonna get rid of a couple things, hopefully a lot of things. And I think it's just overall gonna look so nice. So I think instead of filming over there, I'm hoping to start filming right here in this corner. As you walk in, this is kind of what you see. And here I have my work desk. Then I have just an empty corner. There I have, it's like a crafting table slash makeup vanity slash kind of where I zoom with my students. So kind of both of these are work desks and it's like, I don't need two desks. I need to figure it out. So those two, sick of looking at them. I'm hoping to place them inside of one of these closets. And then this is where I kind of have my camera set up. I have my mirror there and I typically film, you know, right here with this hot mess in the background and I am sick of it. So the plan is I don't want this room to be gray anymore. I'm kind of past my like gray and white phase that I was in when I bought the house. So we went last night to Lowe's and I got some paint. I got the color, I wanna say it's Sherwin-Williams Bohemian White. I will put the correct name here. I think that's right though. Um, so I'm gonna paint the room white so it's gonna be nice and bright. And then I am, like I said, going to make that corner my film area so I will have the cameras and stuff set up over here, like by the front door. I just think it's gonna be so much better. I'm hoping just for a plain white corner with, um, I'm gonna get maybe like a circle white rug, maybe some plants, just very simple, no clutter, like on those shelves. And I think it's just gonna look so good. I am planning on painting the, I don't know what I'm pointing at there. Planning on painting the rim of this mirror gold. So I got some gold spray paint as well when I was at Lowe's. So right now this mirror is like a just silver color and I want it to be gold. Also forgot to mention that I'm doing this on a budget. I don't wanna spend a crazy amount of money. I'm going to try to repurpose and use what I have already. The only thing I have purchased so far is white paint and the gold spray paint. So um, we might take a trip to Ikea, maybe. I don't know, I'm not really. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna keep the shelves, I think. I'm just gonna do something different instead of just throwing all my junk up there. So I'm hoping to just repurpose and not spend a lot of money here, but get a completely different look and a completely different vibe. And I am so excited. So the first step is going to be kind of cleaning up, organizing, packing up all the stuff that is like on the shelves and on the desks and on those two cabinets over there. So that is step one. Let's get started. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. Okay, this is really random, but I do have these two map 
prints that I would love to display in my film room once everything is said and done. Stockton is where I was born and raised. Sacramento is where Carlos was born and raised. Um, so both of these are obviously very special to us and I absolutely love them. I got both of these from Mapiful. They sent me this one a long time ago and very recently I got this one for my hometown. They do come on these like wooden magnetic picture print holders and you kind of just like hang them up. They're pretty cool absolutely love them and I just think it's the coolest thing to have like a personalized piece in your home you don't have to just do like a map of an important city they have of course like the street maps they have star maps they have zodiac prints and then text art prints as well so they have a bunch of different um, options for you depending on exactly what you're looking for. So if you guys are interested in designing your own map, it's super, super easy. You go to their website, which is just mapaful.com and click this button here, this design your own. Once you click that, it will take you to the print type. So you get to pick whatever you want. Like I said, the classical mapaful, so like the street map. Um, you could do the star mapaful map. You could do zodiac or text art. So for me, I chose the classic map, so I would click that. Then it takes you to this page here, so you can enter the city that you live in. So for me, I live in Stockton, California. Search. Once you search the city that you want, it populates it right into the map itself, but you can actually edit it. So for me, I wanted mine a little bit more zoomed in. You can actually pick like the exact like street you grew up on or the area of town you grew up in or if you are getting this for, let's say, like a significant other, maybe it's the city or the place you guys met. Um, it's just super cool, super special. So um, you position it however you want. You can zoom in a lot or you can zoom out as much as you want. And you can also change the different labels so you can make it say whatever you would like. There's different appearances and then you can change the size and orientation. For me, I did the 18 by 24 inch. I think that's just like the perfect size and you just add it to cart and that is it. I just think these are super cool and definitely a unique piece to have in your home. So if you guys are interested, I will leave the link to Mapiful down in the description box below. All right, you guys, it is a little while later and we have made some progress. Shelves down. All of the major furniture has just been moved to the middle of the room and all of the windows and stuff are taped off. So right now, Carlos is sanding around the windows because when I moved in, there was this chunky piece of wood. There were no shutters at all. I don't know if you guys remember that from my moving vlogs, um, but there was a super chunky piece of wood. So when I had the shutters installed, they were slimmer and you can see the old paint color. So, and I had painted first so I was bummed and then I never touched it up. And it's been four years. Poor me. Everything is taped off now. We got the floor taped except that little section because I actually ran out of tape. So I'm just gonna be super careful there. And then also up there, oops, ran out. I guess I didn't really tape off the closet either, but like I said, ran out of tape and I'll just have to be really careful in those areas. But other than that, I'm ready to paint. So this is the paint that I got, Valspar Signature. And it is um, interior paint, of course, plus primer. So technically we only need one coat. We'll really see about that. It is eggshell and the color is Bohemian Lace. Earlier I think I said Bohemian White, but it's Bohemian Lace and that's what it looks like. That is what it looks like. So I'm hoping it looks really good on these walls. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. How could I know there was no second chances? Like dominoes, my life got really scattered. You couldn't keep the door shut, and now the frostbite's creeping. Since you left 
left me here. So I am doing touch ups right now, and Carlos comes and shoves a paint stick clean up my ass. Yay! I did the baseboards too. Two. Inflection and every other word for no reason. Cause that's how it on YouTube talk. This is my YouTube voice. Yeah. Let me see, turn around. There's nothing there. On your back. No, this thing hit the wall. Oh, that's what you get for making fun. So I can't remember if I put it in a video when I first moved in this house but there has always been this footprint on my ceiling. It's like, how in the hell did I get there? All right, shelves are up and we moved to this first desk. Of course, it's going to be, you know, centered, but we just kind of wanted to get out of the way so that way I could finish painting around this fan. So now I think I'm going to bring the mirror in and put it over here in this corner. Okay, so the mirror is in here. I'm not sure if I want it to be in the corner like this or if I want it to just be on this wall, but for now, this is kind of what we got. Uh, this is how it came out, this nice gold color. I really like it a lot. This is the spray paint that I used. It's the Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Metallic Paint and Primer in one in the color Pure Gold. So this is what I used. I will say that I have used a lot of spray paint in my life and this was probably the most annoying. And I don't know if it's this whole modern nozzle or what, but, um, you have to go super fast when holding this down. Otherwise, it's like this in-between spray that is not a fine mist at all. It kind of like splatters a little bit. So you almost have to like start spray painting like in the air or like on a sheet of paper or something and then come over to what you're paying or painting because otherwise you're gonna get a little bit of splatter marks. But I really do like the color a lot. Um, I think it covered pretty well. It took this entire can and this was only like six dollars So it wasn't bad, but I just feel like it could have been better We'll see I guess how it wears and how it lasts if any scratches off so but yeah pure gold Rust-Oleum Universal for this outlet down here. I did get a new plate cover from Lowe's but there's that cord thing hanging out, and I don't know how this is gonna work, so I'm going to just leave it dangling out, I guess, until Carlos can cut and cap that. So I'm just gonna put this on. This is gonna be so ugly with that hanging out. Like, I just don't understand why this is here, and it's really getting in the way of a lot of good things in life, but we're just gonna cap it, or cover it, I mean. Like this won't even fully go on because that's in the way. Dude, what the hell, man? There's such a big gap from this. Oh well, that's as good as it's gonna get for now. Okay, so, so far this is what we have, so. This desk is very obtrusive. Like when you walk in, it's like, oh, there's a desk. And look at how much room is, there is back here behind these. Good news, hopefully. I just looked up online, um, cutting a tabletop or a desktop, I guess, from Ikea. And there was a guy who cut it with an actual just like hand saw. And it's just pretty much like honeycomb shaped like paper on the inside and it didn't shred it didn't look bad and i want to cut um, the back end anyway so nobody's going to see that so i'm gonna have carlos try cutting about six inches off and we're going to see what that looks like so i'm gonna clear this off and then i'm gonna go bring it out to him okay so this is what is inside of the ikea desk 
on the corners I guess it does have this harder particle board because you're able to screw in the desk legs but it's gone we have my short baby here I'm gonna clean her off and bring her in I know Perfect. Oh. Hey you guys, I am here going through all of my makeup and just trying to organize and I just hit 30K. So thank you guys so freaking much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I've been waiting for this day for a very long time and I really appreciate it. I feel like it's just so crazy to me that there are 30,000 people who watch my videos. Like it's just so crazy or like who are subscribed to me. So again, thank you guys so much. And I can't wait to see how big our channel can get. I'm excited. Okay you guys, it's been a few days since the last clip. Uh, I just got out of the shower, that's why I'm looking like this. But I ordered a few things online and I'm just waiting for them to come in. Actually, I think I'm only waiting on one more thing, which is a rug. Today's Saturday, by the way. The rug should be here on Tuesday, so I'm hoping on Tuesday I can, wow, completely finish up this room because it's just so close to being done that I can taste it. Yesterday, Carlos and I went to Ikea and I ran into Home Goods and I got a couple things, so I wanted to show you what I got. Just a little haul. Most of these items are plants, I will admit that, but let me go ahead and get into the haul. Okay, so this is the one and only thing I got from Home Goods. It was $24.99 and it's just this little fake plant on a stand. And I thought this was so freaking cute. So this is going to go, I believe, over here in this corner where I'm going to be filming. Then from Ikea, oh, oh shoot, the fan got it. I got this huge plant. This one was, I think, $50. So this was the most expensive thing I got from Ikea but I really like it. I also think this one is going to go over in my filming corner. Then also from Ikea, I got this. I thought this was so cute, this little like wickery looking basket. And it actually comes with three baskets. So this is the largest one. And then I have to cut this string off, but it has the lids and all of the other little ones underneath. I'm actually going to cut this right now. I don't remember if I said in the beginning of this video, but the look I'm going for is just bright white, this like light wood color, and then lots of plants and greenery. So this fit the bill and I figure I could store things in it. So this is the largest one. This was only like $12 for all three of these baskets. But yeah, I figure I could store little trinkets and stuff in here without it being, you know, seen right when you walk in. And then this is the medium one and the small one. So this is what all of them look like. I think this is a new item at Ikea because I've never seen this before, but they are so freaking cute. And how inexpensive can you get? $12 for three, come on. So then I placed an order on Amazon for some matte black knobs for these closet doors. There are four of the larger doors and then four of the smaller. So for the smaller doors up top, I got Oh, you're not gonna be able to see them, darn it. They're just, let me cut it open. So they are just these matte black knobs. I thought that would look really nice. Just super simple. I think this was like a 10 or 15 pack from Amazon. They weren't too expensive. I only need four of them, but I'm wondering if there's any other place around the house I can use the rest. So those ones will go up top for these smaller doors. And then for the large doors, I wanted to do something just a little bit different. So I got matte black handles. These are also, like I said, from Amazon, and I just think that will look super nice. Okay, so I ordered this rug like a week ago, and I'm pretty sure it's like way too big, but we're gonna find out. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad, I guess. Okay, you guys, I think it is time for the grand reveal of my new and improved, much less cluttered film room. Mind you, it is not 100% where I want it to be, but for now, this is like 
perfection. Just having less clutter in there is going to be like the best. I might put the clothes rack back in there because it's easy when I do hauls, but even that, it's like that doesn't take up that much room and it won't look too crazy. But without further ado, let's go on in and take a little look. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's start on this side. Okay, so this is my work area. This is an area you guys will never really see, I guess, on video. Um, I do teach from home, so I definitely need a workspace. So everything in these drawers kind of has to do with teaching. Um, I do have my little like teacher calendar that I keep on my desk with my laptop, of course, because that is how I Zoom with my students every day. Little coaster for water, we have some tissue. Pretty much just anything I need for work is in this desk or on top of this desk. When it comes to the decor, this is not necessarily what I want. I just knew I wanted a lot of greenery, but for now, I think this is perfect until I, you know, gradually get back out there, go shopping, find cute little pieces that I can put up on this shelf. This is my master's degree from the college that I went to. Go Tigers. Um, I think all of these plants are from Ikea. Um, this from like, I think I got it at TJ Maxx. These are just some eyeshadow boxes. This was my grandma's and then I just have some books there. That is a wooden watch a company sent me a very long time ago. Bath and Body Works candle. That little vase is from a thrift store. And then these baskets, I have three of them. They're all different sizes. You guys already saw, those are from Ikea. So then we have this little area of the room and this is where all the selfies and outfit pictures will be taken. I got this white fur rug off of Amazon and it's just a circle rug. I thought a square rug wouldn't look right. And I know it doesn't like necessarily fit, but I think the scrunched up look looks just fine. Um, I have a plant there, which I want to get maybe a little bit of a bigger plant. That's just all I had right now. But I actually love the way this mirror came out with the gold, and I think it matches the room so well. Then we have my little vanity area. Hey. And this is where I get ready every day. So I have all of my makeup, which <laughs> it's a little bit excessive. So I'm hoping to condense this and maybe only have like one of these acrylic drawers or hopefully zero acrylic drawers because my makeup that I use like often is in this drawer. So I'm hoping to kind of condense and fit it all in here to where all I really have to have out on my vanity is just this mirror. So uh, that is something that of course will happen in the future. This mirror is from Amazon. I mentioned it in another video. I absolutely love it. It lights up and there's a bunch of different settings. So absolutely love that. Then we have my filming corner that I love. Um, I got this rug from I think rugs.com. I will have everything linked down in the description below. I just wanted a plain white corner of a room or plain white wall to film against. Um, but I did want it to have a rug because it helps with the creaking. These floors are so creaky and I was just sick of it. I feel like it's better when there's a rug. So plants, these two are from Ikea. This one here I already mentioned is from Home Goods. I still have my Alex nine drawer unit. This has more makeup. I am very indecisive if I wanna put this in one of these closets or if I just wanna leave it out here. If in fact this goes in a closet, I'm gonna put the clothes rack over kind of in this corner because it helps with my try-on hauls. This map is from a website called Mapiful. I absolutely love them. They sent me this one with my hometown, Stockton, and then also one a long time ago for Carlos um of a map of sacramento so we both have our maps that we are repping and i absolutely love it these frames are magnetic so you just kind of you know they snap close and they keep your maps or your pictures nice up on the wall um, i got this in black but i also got one in like a natural wood color kind of like this color so i might swap those out i'm not sure yet but i kind of like the way the black one looks now I got it all crooked. Then the closet doors. There really is just not much you can do with these closet doors. They are built in like closet, like shelving units. And they had just hideous, like basic silver knobs. So as you guys saw from the video, we swapped them out for a little bit more of a modern knob. It's just black like handles and then 
plain black circle knob. So I think it just kind of completes the room, makes it look really nice, and I love it. So when I'm filming, I will have all of my equipment here, and there's an extension cord that you can actually see, um, that I will plug in all my lighting and all of that, so that way it kind of shoots this way. And this is where I film. I've already filmed one outfit video in this corner, and I liked the way it looks. I just don't know if I should put like something else on the wall back here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So, like I said, this room is not 100% done. I just uh, wanted to get this video like filmed and up, and this is as done as it's gonna get for a while. So, unless I come across a really cool like picture or something, um, or maybe like another plant, I don't know, maybe like, even like a hanging plant would look nice, I'm not sure. So until I just come across that when I'm out shopping, um, this is how the room is going to stay, and I freaking love it. It's just so... It's like a little getaway from the rest of the house. There's just not very much clutter and I just love that. Except for, of course, this. But we are going to situate that. So that was it for my film room makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram. As always, all of the good details are in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!